I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Do you do want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you going to keep yapping, or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. 
The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon. But its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. until you find all four power cells on this island. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Oh, 
Eco caused the door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And uh, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Hey, baby. What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-Grab Zoomer? Rule number one. I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Do have problems as well. The, the first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. The, the, see those gears up there, boy. See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing, if by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is, a, oh, a very modest 
90 precursor orbs. Caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I was to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island! Are we? spotted orange-bellied rainfrey. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flat flat near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor and I'll give you a power cell. Cows. Got to milk those yak cows. <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those hungry yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man and try to get them back into the corral?
lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. Ah, oh, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig. Another goblin up me catch! No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power cell if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. Just want to try the challenge. There are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. <laughs> if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers and you'll poison the whole darn catch.
hundred pounds of fish. Not bad for a couple of landlubbers. Here's the power cell I promised. And you can use my boat in the village dock whenever you like. the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, Chota. Bye-bye. Creature that dag nasty. It's a whole new experience when you're covered in fuzz! I'll make it back.
remember what happened the last time we were here. It's an ambush, Jack! It's an ambush! Get the Red Eco! Red Eco makes your attack stronger!
our village for weeks. Bring your zoomer back to the chance pad and I'll teleport it back.
Take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. So, you uh, want to make a contribution? Good. A sizable one, I hope. You! <laughs> oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, well I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. Yeah! <laughs> 
got a precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us! Bag of the mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam.
Wow! Check out that funky sculpture sitting on the rocks over there. a precursor oracle like the sage always goes all about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. Who awakens the oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. For your gift, Another power cell is yours. Good. You've collected enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells and hurry. My father says he's seen more lurkers around.
get to the power cell before the pelican scoops it up again!
poor dear's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. No, no! No, 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 no! Look, isn't that cute? It's the curate's mama. Ah, I'm not your mom. You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys, I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees, so try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! Hit those balloons to cool off! There's scout flies out here, too! See if we can catch air on those workers!
think I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! It looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no! I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! Oh! And it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're going to need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some ore. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers. Then come back and give us an update. And take the furball with you. Well, the situation here stinks worse than a lurker's armpit. Before Blue Sage's disappearance, he journaled significant trouble in all of the surrounding areas. A particular interest to me is the dark eco-infection of some innocent plants in the Precursor Basin. Kira will teleport your Agrav Zoomer to the nearest transpad. Ride the Zoomer to a green eco-vent and then carry the green eco to the corrupted plants. That should heal them. Don't miss a single plant or the infected ones will slowly reinfect the healthy ones. And Daxter, start cleaning up in here. And don't forget the corners. Apparently, the precursor structure just off the coast leads to an underwater lost city. The Blue Sage has been trying to figure out how he can bring one of the chambers to the surface. But he was never successful. You should check it out. Uh, aren't there a lot of uh, lurker sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Me? Of course not. Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh, you know what a chicken he can be. Well, if you swim out over the coral reef, I doubt the lurker sharks will bother you. They don't like shallow water. <laughs>